Hello and welcome to another tutorial where today I'm going to show you how to introduce the clear slash purge command to your discord bot. This is a really helpful way of dealing with spam uh, and just keeping your discord server nice and clean and it's a surprisingly easy to command to implement so let's get on with that. First we're going to make sure we've got our code open and have everything, I haven't changed anything since previously so it should just work. If you need to have a copy of the latest code, it will be on the Discord. Uh, no, it will be on the GitHub, and the Discord link will be in the description. All links you need to know will be in the description. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to start a command like all the other ones. We're going to do at client dot command. Uh, open and close our brackets, and then do a new line. Here we're going to do async death. And now whatever you want to name the command, I'm going to do clear. There we go. And now we're going to open brackets, and we need to have two things in here. One, we need to have our context again. And then we're going to do a dash. And we also need to have our amount. There we go, so let's do five. And this will be the amount of messages it clears if we don't give it a number. And now we need to put a colon in there, and new line. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do await ctx dot channel dot purge. And now we're going to open up brackets and we're going to do limit equals amount. And now there are a few things that you would will want to change about this, but in its simplest form this will work. And we'll add the extra stuff in a second. So let's run this. So that is Control F5. Give that a second to start up. There we go, it's alive. And now we can open up our Discord. So if we just put some more spam in there, that is one, two, three, four, five, six messages. So if we do dot clear four of them, you can see it didn't clear all of them. It, on it only cleared three messages because it cleared our dot clear command which is what we want. So there are two ways to do this. The first way is you could say, well, why don't you just do dot clear plus one more number than you want? Well, that's not simple to a user. It's unclear and it's messy. So let's change that. We'll open up a code again, and here it says limit equals amount. Let's do plus one. There we go, plus one. Save that and run. So now let's just do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, and we want to clear five of these. If we do dot dot clear five, you can see it removed five because it cleared our dot clear command as well as the five messages we wanted to get rid of. And as you can see, if we did dot clear two, it removes two of those messages. So that works. But there's another problem with this. Anyone without administrator can run this command as well, so we want to fix that. So, with discord.py, it lets us check what permissions people have. So that I want this one to only be able to be used by people who have administrator. You may want to only let this be used by people who have permissions of managed messenger or kick members or whatever. And I'm going to show you how to do kick and ban in the next video, but for now, we'll just set the permission to only be people who have administrator. So above at client.command, what we need to do is do at, there you go, at commands dot has permissions. We then want to open brackets and we want to type out administrator equals true. So what we're going to do is just do administrator equals true. There we go. And we want to make sure that true has a capital. And we're going to save this. So by administrator equals true, it means only people who have administrator can use it. If I wanted to, I could do kick underscore members equal true, and then only people who have the ability to kick members could run this command. And just to tidy this up, we'll put a space between our hello command and this. So let's save this. So that means it is locked to only us. And one last thing to make it simple for the user is let's add an alias to, of purge, because lots of other bots use that instead, so it may get confusing. 
So we're going to do that the same way we did previously. Aliases equal square brackets. There we go. And we only need one alias. So we're going to do just purge. There we go. And save that. Rerun our code. Okay, give it a second to load. There we go. Now you can see we can do dot purge. And then there we go, dot bot purge 2. And it works the same as otherwise. Thank you for watching this video. All links, including the link to the GitHub and the link to the Micromedia Group Discord and the Micromedia Group subreddit will all be in the description. Maybe take a look at look at a few of them and thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Goodbye. Bye.